All right, so I've got quite a few rewards for the minimalists, the travelers, the lazy, and the broke, which I am all of those things. Uh, so here's one that I like to use. Um, if you remember these from elementary school, uh, kids in China also know what this is, so it doesn't take very much for them to figure out the concept. So the way that I would teach this or use this as a reward is I would go, which body part do you want? Eyes, ears, mouth, or nose? I just have to flip it this way. And whatever they choose, let's say nose, N-O-S-E. Okay, which shape do you want? Circle, square, triangle, or parallelogram. And whatever they choose. You found a star, great job. Or not this time, try again. Remember, it's under the circle. Okay, so you can do this for just about anything. You don't, I had these leftover stickers because I had a lot of stickers, but you could draw on it. It really doesn't matter. This one is with colors. Um, so orange, yellow, pink, or blue. And then on the inside is numbers. And then again, it's just stars or not stars. There's a whole bunch of different things that I have in here. Okay, so there's that one. Then I have find the banana. So basically with rewards, I try to give the kids choices because otherwise if you're just saying, well, here's a thingamabob, here's a thing, it's kind of boring. So I like to give the kids choices, but not too many so it doesn't take up too much time. Um, so... A lot of them are games where it gives the kids options. This is one game that I like. This is Find the Banana. Um, so I have, I'll tell the kids, I have three things. I have a flower, a lemon, and a banana. I want you to find the banana. Then I'll tilt my computer down. And do, these are kind of, uh, these have been used quite a bit, so they're not as, um, they don't stand up as well as they used to. But anyways, you get the idea. And then I'll say, okay, the banana is here. Watch for the banana. Ready, set, go. Okay, where is the banana? One, two, or three? Okay, so there's that one. And also on that note, I also frequently do the cup game, which is another, it's pretty much the same thing, but you just have whatever object you want. I have a little alien here. I'll say, find the alien. And that also increases their vocabulary if you have something that, um, you know, that they can learn new words and whatnot. So, find the alien. Here is the alien. Ready, set, go. And unfortunately, the paper cups are horrible. I haven't tried these paper cups and that just made my ears cringe. Um, normally I'll use like a ceramic cup or something like that. So it's easier for me to kind of, I can't do that anymore. But anyways, then I'll say number one or number two. Okay. You get it. It takes about 10 seconds for each reward and the kids really like the competition. Um, they really like the game aspect of it. Um, and it's just really easy. Um, I'm staying at, I'm currently traveling and I'm staying in Airbnbs and every Airbnb has cups. So easy. Um, and then another game that we know from elementary school that Chinese kids also know is rock, paper, scissors. Now, a lot of them will recognize the hand signals, but sometimes it helps to, that's why I have these. Sometimes I just use 
paper cards that I will just say, okay, so we're going to play rock, paper, scissors. First, cover your camera and they get it or they don't and it's okay. You just do it anyways. And you say rock, paper, scissor, go. And a lot of times I will keep score um, on my whiteboard uh, just in the corner and usually the kids like it when I lose so I make a big deal of it when I'm losing uh, teacher and student and I'll be like <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Yeah, the kids really enjoy my suffering, and I really try to ham that up as much as possible. Um, and finally, for just, you know, this one is really simple. I made emojis, and, you know, I'll just, I made this today in 15 minutes before I taught classes. Um, and I'll just say, okay, today we get emojis which one do you want? And I have a stack of 12, um, but I'll just go through them and say, okay, number one, number two, number three, number four, or number five. And I will let them pick from five. And then at the end, I will show them all the ones that they collected. Um, so, yeah, that's the idea. Those are my super simple, easy rewards. Um, they all fit, including my background and everything that I have. It all fits into this folder so I can go on a plane and I really don't have to worry about it. The heaviest thing that I have for my classroom is my whiteboard. So. Yeah, there you go. Good luck. And um, I know how it is. I was in the Caribbean not that long ago in the British Virgin Islands, and people pick stuff off of the curb for, for, to use it for their classrooms, um, you know, just materials and things laying around. And exported goods are ridiculously expensive. So good luck, and I wish you the best. All right, bye.